Or, we're gonna wait a little bit to figure you out, then we're gonna kill you. That one, that one was so fucking funny. <laughs> we should research them first, so then we know how to kill them the best way. <laughs> Hell yeah. That research is still going on. Oh, that's the, that's the one. That I found it. Cool. Dustfur's monster. <laughs> you know what that means? Uh, no. <laughs> the fart monster. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to figure out which language I want to put it in. I can't wait for a hundred percent crime. Yeah, I gotta gobble up this other. It's a shame I started right next to a crime syndicate. <laughs> Can you crime a crime syndicate? No, you cannot. Oh, because they know what to look for? Yeah. Select Empire. Alright, let's see. Where is You should mine? be at the bottom. Oh, yep, there it is. Loading map. Here we go, now we're in. Great. Already ready, ready to start? But Pirate Roberts. Yep. <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> Alright. We're back in space. And I'm unpausing it. All right, let's see. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was trying to slowly make my way over to you so I could declare war at you. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I could, I was trying to get the war. I'm enjoying your very decisive. <laughs> this is how <a> true leader <laughs> makes great decisions. Oh yeah. Can you imagine being a space firing race? and you're like a giant criminal syndicate and then the first other <laughs> civilization you meet is also a giant crime syndicate and then your scientists are like maybe this is just how people evolve <laughs> yeah maybe this is the most optimal apex <laughs> life form is just crime <laughs> <Criminals are bad. laughs> is it really crime if there's no law restricting it <laughs> very confusing Maybe it's like uh, Blood Bowl, where there's like certain ways you could bribe the ref. Oh yeah, right, where it's like permitted. <laughs> yeah, you have to follow the rules about breaking the rules. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite part about Blood Bowl, is there's like, uh, regulated bribe amounts. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a nice touch. I, I, when I tell people that, they don't believe me. They think it's like they don't understand how that mechanic would work. It's it's like, right. it's you can buy bribes, <laughs> and then every time the ref makes a call you don't like, you gotta pay him the regulated bribe, <laughs> and he'll ignore it. <laughs> That's very straightforward. <laughs> it's goofy. It's not supposed to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the all the uh, all the uh, refs are uh, goblins, so of course they're corrupt as oh, hell. Oh yeah, definitely. Why you would put <laughs> the goblins in charge thusly to begin with is. Uh, questionable, but <laughs> they're, they're a quote-unquote <laughs> neutral party. <laughs> Wait, is this? Uh, I can't tell if this is the moon that this resource is on, or if it's the planet. I think it's the moon, because it's like right below the moon. The text. Uh, uh, yeah, every moon counts as its own entity, so it's certainly possible. Cool. Let's see. In that case, I would like to colonize the moon. Oh, no, not. That's the moon. Go there! I don't have to terraform it. This planet is not within our borders? Uh, that's what I'm trying to make it within our borders. How do I colonize something? Um, you gotta put down an uh, outpost. <clears throat> oh, I got an outpost first? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, where's my construction shop? Build me an outpost. This is great, because this is like a choke point in the star map. Yeah, I have one, like, I have a really nice choke point where, um... My rival, I've declared that these the uh, Panaxala concern 
my rival. Gangsters are now my rival. I just said that. Blah. <laughs> but anyways, um, it chokes, our umpires choke off into a single star system. Should be pretty useful for defending. Uh, let's see, where... Oh, my construction ship's almost done. Oh, that's right, my ascension perk. Uh, is Which one should I do? It really depends, man. Um, it's like, I couldn't tell you. Does it really matter? So as, if, as long as I want to pursue one of these? Complete. Well, um... Construction complete. Everything, like... Everything that involves, like, advanced genetic engineering, robotics, psionics, etc., etc., you have to have at least one. Your first one doesn't really matter, basically. Uh huh. So if like, I say if I want to pick either Interstellar Dominion or Technological Ascendancy, those are it both would not, cool. It, it would not lock you out of, um, like, going into the later, more advanced stuff like s Synthetic Evolution or Psionic Transcendence, etc., etc. So your first one's pretty guilt-free. All right, well, I'm gonna do technological ascendancy. I did that one as well, because ten percent research speed, plus increased rare technology. Yeah, it's just so is, good. Seems really good to me. Robots. Should I get robots? And the robots make sense. Robots. That or that or the interstellar dominion, because that's really what we're doing anyway. Because I just picked yeah, right. the coolest looking <laughs> robot instead of reading what he was about, and so uh, <laughs> now I'm trying to destroy all life. <laughs> you know, fucking way she goes, man. <laughs> I'm having a good time with this. <laughs> Even though I've not really fought anything. We'll get there. Alright, <clears throat> so now that I have my base, where's my ship? Where am I calling the ship? Oh, you're not even in the right place. Go colonize the fuck out of this. Oh. Get colonial with your bad self. Alright, so now that I have a... Space, space. How do I actually ter- uh, not, not terraform. Um, colonize this moon. Uh, well, first of all, is it actually colonizable? The planet is, I think. I don't know how to it's, tell. It's got the it's got the planet thing next to it. What planet like, thing next to it? It's there's, there's it says a little, barren world. There's a little planet indicator to the left of the name of the planet. Like red planet, orange planet, green planet. It's an orange barren world. Okay, yeah, so you just send the colonial ship in and then right click the planet that you'd like and then hit colonize. Planet type is not colonizable. Planet type, oh man. It's not colonizable. I don't know if any of these are colonizable. I don't think they are. Hmm. Wait, can I colonize the planet, or the asteroid? No, I cannot. Oh, uh, so it turns out, like, none of the things in the system are colonizable, so all these trash planets I've been finding are actual trash planets. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and build a lot of... fucking... Where's my... Co uh... construction ship. Uh, we're gonna build research stations, and we're gonna build... mining stations. We're gonna take a dump somewhere on here yeah I don't know man All right, what's this is this my ship oh it is what are they doing <clears throat> ah they're studying drones it'll finish in a long time How do I terraform planets? 
Uh, you're gonna have to unlock that technological shit. But rudimentary t uh, terraforming is under the uh, clear tile blockers shit, where you can like destroy mountains and uh, fill in swamps and shit. But like a true terraforming comes, it's like a high level tech thing. Okay, how do I get that? Just keep researching shit and it'll pop up eventually. Ah. Researching research speed is a good thing to do, right? Yeah, I think research speed is good, personally. Because I've been kind of going into that. I want to more research more faster. Faster, rare. <laughs> you have nothing to claim. I haven't actually met any actual civilizations. Complete. I've only met hostile, random NPCs. I don't know if there's life out in the universe other than that which I'm studying to kill. <laughs> yeah, confirmed. Confirmed for it not existing. Please, uh, don't come my way. <laughs> Murder Build everyone. mining stations. I'm upgrading a star base in preparation for this war. How do you upgrade star bases? You just click on any outpost and then like double click on that shit. Where? Uh, how do I find my outpost? You just go into the solar system, and it should be the only structure in the solar system that has a combat power value. Usually, it's around the star. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, a chalk station, there it is. Yeah, so then you just click on it and it's a starport, you click upgrade. Um space stations are like really good defensive things. Like late in the game they can't stop fleets, but they can slow them down for your your shit to get there. Cool. So if you've got a border conflict, it's always good to build like a space station on like uh, a choke point. Then after you build it, you can put modules on it and make it like a shipyard or a trade hub or a defensive thing. <clears throat> Dare I declare war on these guys? Absolutely. I don't know. 
I would, I would say, I would say so because I'm declaring war on everybody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got <Yeah>. me. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you completely convinced me, dude. <laughs> I'm doing it. Actually, I really wish there was some way I could. Their fleet power is superior compared to ours. Okay, that's not a good sign. How much fleet power you need? Complete. Oh wait, I gotta get over there. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could call you in. We could double team this chump, carve up his empire, but. Special yeah. project complete. All right, mining drone work ethic. The drones and their tireless, endless work of exacting and ever diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but nevertheless informative subject of study. So what do we find? Uh... Yeah, I need more alloys. Oh yeah. Time to construct there, bitch. Is this planet livable? It's a toxic world, damn it. It shouldn't matter to you though. I don't understand. Are you sure you were clicking on the right planet with your colony ship? Complete. Well, I was trying to click on any planet after a certain point. So let me go with my colony ship. Alright, this motherfucker's here. So, I want him to colonize... Uh... Let's see. So, yeah, you you want to find the icon that says potentially habitable world. Oh, which is it, none of those say that. None of them say potentially habitable? No, I've never even seen that one. Maybe there's a weird gimmick with your empire where you can only kill people and take their planets. Can you... Hmm. You know, you should just be able to uh, colonize those worlds, man. I don't, I don't understand. So uh, let me make sure I'm doing the actions correctly. I click on my colony ship. He's already in the system I want to colonize. Yeah. You right-click on the world. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't. Uh, uh. Yeah, I moved him over to wherever the fuck I want him. So I'm gonna just use. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Oh, hey, the amoebas. We finally solved those. Let's see. A space amoeba is usually accompanied by a handful of semi-independent flagella used for defense and object manipulation. The amoeba and its flagella do not share mind. The former instead using RNA-laced secretions to program the latter for the execution of tasks of middling complexity. Let's see. I could do the flagella fascinating, which is... Uh, a movement modifier, evasion plus 5%, or I could retrieve some tissue samples. Uh, research option gain regenerative whole tissue, which, okay, that sounds fucking dope. I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I'm now back to trying to colonize something. Alright, yes. so I've selected my colony ship. I've right-clicked on the world, it is traveling to the world. Yeah, well, when you right-click on it, it should say enter orbit or colonize. Oh, no, it doesn't do that. I, no matter which right-click world I right-click on. Well, you can only right-click, you can only colonize worlds that, like I said, have the habitable world icon next to it. I'm gonna check my other star systems. Maybe... It's really large and obvious. Okay, well, what does the symbol look like? Uh, like a, a globe, like the Earth. Is it the, it's not the orange glow, successful. is it? The, the society research? No. Oh, okay. The system, the system with the habitable world uh -huh. on the galaxy map and on the solar system map will have a large globe next to the name. And if you mouse over it, it says potentially habitable. There are potentially habitable worlds in the system. Oh, I found one. There you go. Uh, there's one it? star system that has that in all, how many is this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, like 20 star systems, there's one of these. So let's see, what is this planet? It is a desert world. That seems pretty cool. Apparently it has districts. I'm gonna go send a colony ship there. Come hither! Planet has an anomaly. Uh, okay. Well, I'll send the guy there and then figure it out. Oh, go research an anomaly. Perfect. 
Also build an outpost. Uh, so apparently robots have unemployment issues. <laughs> the number probably, of... They probably don't get happiness issues, but it's probably just letting you know that there's unused dudes. Uh, the number of idle drones on XT-489 continues to increase. And many of these unemployed units have begun diverting their processing power towards deviant and unauthorized functions. Oh, shit. <laughs> this corruption is spreading rapidly. The affected units are starting to form their own networks beyond the control of the core intelligence. Okay, uh, uh, to rectify that, what you do is you go to the planet, and you look at the population, and then you see who's unemployed. It's the little suitcase with the, like, sign over it, the no sign. And then if, it's, if you need basic dudes, then you build a district. And if you need advanced guys, then you have to build a building. Okay, well, it's given me two options on this already. So, one of them is to prevent this, a temporary solution could put all unemployed drones into standby mode and connect them directly into the core intelligence. This will drastically increase their maintenance costs, but it will give us time to create more jobs. We could also do nothing, but this would likely result in the continued proliferation of corrupt drone networks on our planet, which is my only planet, so we're going to engage standby mode. <laughs> we're just going to turn them off. Yeah, that's a really robotic way to solve the problem. <laughs> Man, that's why I suck. I don't have any... I'm still using red lasers and coil guns. That's all I have. Yeah, I was like, why are these guys stronger than me? And I haven't researched a single weapon yet. I should probably get on that. Where be my science vessel? Great. We're losing Last credits in the long report Great. Makes for some grim reading. It's probably because you put all those drones in standby. Fuck. You could, you could get a, get rid of your unemployment and get more credits if you built uh, generator districts. Okay, so I'm gonna do that by clicking on my home planet, and then it's where? Where do I go for that? Uh, districts on the left. Districts uh, build raw resources and they provide jobs for low-level drones. So you said generator district? Yeah, generator di district would create energy credits. Alright, well I'm gonna do that, because I have a lot of stuff to get those. Okay, that should solve that problem. Thank you. Dude construction start. complete. That's uh, construction. Wait, did somebody build a ship? I didn't want somebody to build a ship. Huh, let's see, I'm meeting an alien. <laughs> Chief Executive Officer Gallader. The Vengralian Trium. Let's see, oh, they're traitors. Oh, <laughs> they're just a branch of the other guys. Die. <laughs> yeah, that is the only option I can click on. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Time for some blue lasers. Excellent, we just finished construction of the space outpost. So I think, uh, science ship. It's time to go science some stuff up. Okay, I finally am colonizing the world. Nice. I'm gearing up for battle still. <clears throat> I'm waiting for to get these fucking blue lasers. And then I'm gonna re retrofit all my shit, and then I'm gonna go attack. Uh, hopefully the lasers will give me an edge. <laughs> We're equivalent strength right now. So I'm hoping a massive retrofit with all new weapons will... Let me zip in there. By the way, if your fleet has a little up complete. arrow on, its, on the outliner, it means you can go in and order them to be upgraded. And the game will automatically retrofit them to have the best possible technology that you currently have well that's good how did you st I, I, I missed the first part how would you say about the um how to find it on the outliner on the side there should be a little up arrow next to the fleet 
Yes. On, on its little icon. So then you click on it and you there's upgrade fleet on the options. Uh, let's see. There it is. Yeah, and then it'll just automatically zip over. It costs a bit of money, but it's cheaper than just building new ones. Ship Delta aliens. Completed. Damn, man, I'm in a crowded part of space. I keep running into people. Man, this science ship takes forever to go places. Yeah. You know, you can actually upgrade them to go faster. I think? Can you? No, no, you can't. They're just always like that. Damn. You can only upgrade combat ships. Oh, man. Nation of Kalog. Interesting. Exotic gases. Hmm. Well, they still surveying? Indeed. Oh, hey, I ran into some guys I can spread crime to. <laughs> nice. What's up, crimey boys? Get him. <laughs> yes. What are we gonna do? Illicit re research labs? Drug labs? <laughs> Bio reprocessing plants where Disloyal employees and other forms of unsavory biomatter are reprocessed into ready-to-eat food products. <laughs> Spongebob support. Hmm. Get some illicit research labs. Thanks, bitch. That's right. It's the crime lab. Do a little experimentation on the locals. Heck yeah. Wait, I should really check if they can kick my ass before I start... Eh, I mean, we're roughly equivalent. System survey complete. Why is my military power in red for this uh, fleet? Um, I'm not sure. Is it below strength for what you set with the fleet manager? Uh, it does need reinforcing, I guess. Where's the fucktron? We gotta get him down there. <laughs> Some kind of unknown aliens hanging out in my s new solar system. Cool. Hyperdrive 2. Hell yeah. <clears throat> That's always useful. Ah. The aliens return. Investigate. If they attack me, it's not going to be very smart. You can go to the market and. Oh, uh. Yeah, you got max influence. Start doing edicts. Oh, yeah. We have made first cool. contact with an alien empire. I got these other guys up to 26% crime on their homeworld. 
I recommend a healthy <laughs> nice. degree of caution until we I made first intentions. contact with something. I like how the tutorial bot is like, hey, we've made first contact with another empire. Uh, we sh I recommend a healthy degree of caution before we learn their intentions. And then we look at the only dialogue option I have, which is target identified, seek and destroy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, hey, we're the... Protective uh, is key confederation, a nation built upon the principles of peaceful isolation and individual freedoms. The current head of our governments requests that you leave us be and pursue your nefarious alien agendas far away from our territory. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, bud. Nope, it's war. <laughs> do you did you do you have to declare war? Uh, no, that I don't think that I formally declared war, but I did fucking threaten him. Nice. Where be their empire, though? Oh, wow, that's a lot of empire. Ooh, that, uh, is key confederation that I just met. They aren't fucking around with their territory. They have, looks like they have a lot of stars. Hmm. A little alarming. How can I tell how much stuff they have? Whoa, that's a black hole. That's cool. Apparently produces three cogs. Engineering research. Uh, yeah, all these say it lies within their space. Oh yeah, it's like 30 times the size of mine. <laughs> uh, kind of sucks you can't do diplomacy now, huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know, let's see how powerful their shit is. I can't tell. Construction complete. Technological acquisition successful. Doing it, I'm declaring war. Ooh, blue laser. Wait, research station output. Uh, fusion reactor. Oh, no, I need more influence to declare war. <clears throat> uh, fusion reactors are good. Uh, all reactors are good because, um, you know, everything, everything you slap on your ship sucks power. So if you want the biggest guns. You gotta have the best reactor. Well, since uh, the playstyle that the game has given me was have the biggest guns and kill everybody, then I guess I'll go with that. <laughs> I like how these guys aren't even willing to give any other life forms a shot. They're just like, nah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, right? Not even like. <laughs> the ones that offended them, just like all of them, all the time. <laughs> yeah, the story was that they like mur murdered all the ones that made them, and now they're just like, no, fuck everybody else too. If there's somebody out there, they're fucking dead. <laughs> wow, I just encountered someone called the Artisan Troop. That they have a space station where it's like a school dedicated to the pursuit of art, music, and culture. Interesting. Huh. Can I sell you drugs? <laughs> oh, somebody else has found me, it seems. Confederated gyroid here at Holdings. A uh, democratic nation committed to upholding individual freedoms are citizens in the galaxy full of alien horrors. By the way, you don't happen to be an alien horror, do you? Yep, seek and destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded for a second like you said al alien whores. Whores, yeah. 
<laughs> that's uh, that's what you got going on over there, because that's all illegal. Even though there's like tons of brothels <laughs> on your planets, and they're just like, no, it's still illegal, even though we make the rules. Legality, schmality. I think I actually am declaring war on everybody because uh, the guy I just talked to said we have allowed you to move about freely on our territory for too long. Today we draw the line. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Oh shit, they also have a huge amount of space. So everything in the, like, the colored cloud, is that like what they actually own? Yes, that is everything they have an outpost built on. Okay, yeah, so these guys are problem. Alright. My campaign begins. Your campaign of crime? I... Yeah, I started my war. War on crime. War with crime. Yeah, just, 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 yeah, war with crime. <laughs> Shit, bail, bail to the space station. The fleet's larger than mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> wah, wah. Awesome. I tricked them into attacking me at my defensive position, and then I bailed to save most of my fleet, half of it, and then their fleet got destroyed by my powerful space station. I think I'm gonna win this war. Nice. Oh shit. Terraforming. Yeah, I'm grabbing that. And new ship type, destroyer. Okay. Cool. How you doing, Nick? Oh, I'm just exploring stuff, trying to uh um, feel out the game. Yeah, I'm mostly manage what I can. I seem to be producing resources at a pretty decent rate. Uh, have you reached your force limit on your fleet? No. I don't think so. How can I tell? Um, it's, uh, it's up at the top. It says naval capacity. Naval capacity, there it is. No, I haven't finished that yet. 30 out of 34. Yeah, I'm at 20 out of 24. You have a really high fleet capacity. Must be the benefit of being a murderous alien robot race. <laughs> Just like I was destined to become. Damn, I need some some more alloy. You can go into market and sell surplus goods for energy credits, and then turn around and buy alloys. That's how. Uh, I usually go hella into mining, and then I flip the minerals to buy alloys. Ah, there, I could buy those alloys if I want. Wolf them some expensive alloys if I don't pick the right one. I'll go with that. What's the internal market? That's um the internal market is the your Systems your own personal complete. economy. The international market lets you make deals with uh like all the other civilizations in the uh universe. Uh how do I get what is this international market? Well, it, nobody's founded the international market yet. Uh it's a it's a research thing and then the person who founds it gets a big prestige boost and then everybody can set up deals with each other interesting you know it wouldn't be surprising if my empire can use the fucking market <laughs> yeah yeah that would not be surprising but I can is the thing. I just bought some alloy, which is hilarious to me, because that means we sent some murder bots to some place to buy some shit. And we were like, well, no. yes, here's some currency. No, you know, it's weird. Is that's your internal market. Why would you buy and sell things internally if you're a hive mind machine race? <laughs> Wouldn't you just give it to each other for the greater good? <laughs> well, apparently, uh, robots can also, like have deviant behavior and I guess like watch pornography or whatever that they were doing to, <laughs> right before that uprising happened 
<laughs> so I'm assuming that robots can also be affected somehow by crime. Yeah. Construction complete. Yeah, well, maybe. We'll see. I'll, I'll at least tell you if I have the option to open something on your planet. Which would be bullshit. Yeah. Especially since, <laughs> apparently, when the dis uh, the descent was happening, I could literally just turn off the problem <laughs> and figure it out later. <laughs> oh, no. You know what, dude? I'm looking at it right now. I can only open branch offices in la if... Like, you, I can't open them on anyone who's got a uh, gestalt consciousness or a hive mind, and I can't do it on any other criminal. <laughs> I like you trying to do it on a hive mind. Like, they had to figure that out one way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to get in on crime? You want to join the collective? <laughs> we have discovered a new archaeological site. Ooh, yeah, archaeological sites take a long time, but it's, uh, really Shit, good. Like, whatever you get from it is really good. How do I, can I, like, start it somehow? Yeah, you just, um, send a science fleet there and you order them to excavate. Wait, where did I get this other fleet from? Well, clearly I'm going to merge these fleets, so I can't. So maybe, can I merge these two? Construction complete. Get out of here, Fucktron. <laughs> the massive fleet that he has is like, making it hard to click on the ones I'm trying to merge. <laughs> How is he still not upgraded? Come on, Fucktron. I've been clicking that for, like, hours. Oh, I should probably put, like, missiles or something on here. This war is proving to be a drain on my finances. Hopefully Ain't it's over soon. That's a bitch of war. War. War is always expensive. Fallout 6. Shit, augmentation is <laughs> completed. <laughs> Bethesda's trying to recover from the disaster that's Fallout 76. Make a little money. <laughs> Why is there unemployment? Oh, because that's still building. Oh wait, you know, th that theoretically, if I find a... Needed. A civilization that is inorganic I could probably negotiate with them that's a good point you probably could that right that makes sense <clears throat> I haven't met any machine people yet though yeah neither have I I've just got met a bunch of people I already threatened <laughs> Hell yeah, if I if I manage to clear this war, one of the planets I'll be scooping up has a primitive uh, race on it in, in during a medieval age. Can you say abductions? <laughs> I'm gonna abduct those aliens and teach them to do crime. <laughs> Here's how to do space crime. <laughs> it's better than your regular feudal crime. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, that this one also has a fucking uh, uh, habitable planet, or potentially habitable planet. Might as well build something there. Where's this other construction ship? Well, me and this guy are going back and forth, but I keep getting the upper hand. Construction complete. Nice, and they surrendered. Boom. Give me that shit, bitch. <laughs> S upon this D, son. That'll build a colony. Complete. So I got a colonizable world. Maybe I should just exterminate us this independent system. <laughs> yeah, grab their shit. I think I will. Nuke their ass and take their gas. Construction I will. complete. 
uh, begin assembly of the death machines. Huh, there's a wormhole. If we could stabilize this uh, wormhole, then we could pop out somewhere else in the galaxy. It's a really useful form of travel, it's true. Let's see, we're receiving a transmission from the independent space station of the Artisan Troop. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Organics identified, communications terminated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that they sent me this communication too. It's like, I'm visitor. This is a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive <laughs> my manners. I believe introductions are in order. You will die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, chap. Oh man, they're just like, hey, all we do is like art, music, culture, and all this other stuff. So if you like want to take wonder in our creations, just like don't hesitate to contact us. Communications terminated. <laughs> well, I believe it is time for us to successful. fucking murderinate these guys. All right, let's see. So there's like. What kind of- Oh Jesus, they have way more firepower than I do. We are fucking out of here, boys. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, the, uh, Chores Compass. This, uh, place on the other side of the fucking universe. Uh, it is owned by the Caravan Surrey Caravan Coalition. Oh yeah, those guys. You didn't declare it. Did you- Did you declare one of them? No, they're neutral. We- okay. We haven't killed ourselves yet. All right, gentlemen, get out of there. Man, I bet you have like ships. There are uh, planets that have green and blue somewhere on them. Yes. We have nothing but like the most desolate wasteland of worlds, and gas <laughs> giants and other shit. No wonder these robots are so pissed off. The universe sucks. <laughs> yeah, I have four. I have four ocean worlds under my belt now. <clears throat> I could. I have two. There's two Savannah worlds. Situation long. No, adjusted. Savannah and a Tundra world, but those are garbage. Not very appetizing. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of food here if I don't watch it. I've already run out of food. Just use your crime to steal food from someone else. <laughs> that was how it worked. Rivalry. Zum Stellar Industries Protective Iski Confederation. They've uh, declared their rival. This will significantly work worse in their dis diplomatic relations. Yeah, so they hate you, but you get bonuses for whipping their ass <clears throat> and triumphing over your rivals. Other people will respect you more. So in this archaeological dig. Uh, <laughs> I'd like the last paragraph here. The only plausible theory at present is some sort of mass migration or evacuation took place. Because, like, the whole planet's just empty. Uh, mm. We still have yet to determine what could compel an entire species to abandon everything they've built and ever known. Well, I don't know. Maybe the giant fleet of killer <laughs> robots that's coming at them may have compelled them to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, what could compel them? Your, the genesis of your civilization is literally such an event. <laughs> Food. Food. Apparently I somehow complete. at one point met the moth guys, then somehow also pissed them off. Even though I don't <laughs> remember ever meeting their empire, and it just kind of popped up in the middle of the map. System survey complete. Fine. Let's see. Five years until I can go to war with my rivals again. And I've been playing nice with my southern neighbors so they won't attack me while I do it. Meanwhile, infiltrating their society with hor horrible crime. <laughs> As you do. Like you do, I love crime. Who doesn't love crime? These guys, probably. Someone does crime at you, and then you get, like, really salty about it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> hey, you can't... You can't do that. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we do. You don't get to do that. <laughs> I love how you know exactly how long something's gonna take to research. Like, I wish we could do that in real life. Yeah. How long right. will it take to research, I don't know, anti gravity? Oh, I just, you know, <laughs> construction. 22 complete. years? Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, everybody on the planet went underground because there was a sudden ice age that happened. 
Oh, cool. So let's see what else we got, because there's more to go on this excavation. I like that they put that much detail into this, like, fucking random thing that I found. Yeah, it's... It really makes... This game would be so terrible if it didn't have that going for it. Can you imagine how just lifeless and devoid it would feel? Yeah. I mean, I like the other mechanics, but that's my favorite part. It's all the cool shit you get to check out. Uh, so I found a planet that's entirely <laughs> covered in, like, this gray, cloudy goo stuff. And it turns out that uh, it, the entire planet is covered in self-replicating nanites. Oh, cool. Uh, I wonder if I could, like, let's see, do anything with them. Construction templates for technology gained. Technological acquisition successful. Uh-oh, someone's upset. Some... Uh, the, the, the Confederated Holdings is like, it's time we unplugged you once and for all. Uh-oh. <laughs> What? I'm gonna zoom out and see if it just says like they're still neutral, because that would be funny. Complete. I think there might be more planets in our real life uh, galaxy that have more habitable planets than I have in this game right now. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're striking out. <laughs> I've found like literally three planets and I've colonized all of them, and one of them is the uh, one I started with. I surveyed like 30 systems or something by now. Yeah, well, I mean, I have three colonies and building a fourth, so you're you're keeping up. Okay, as long as I'm not falling behind. Well, I found an asteroid asteroid sized turd. <laughs> <laughs> it's a billion years old. <laughs> it's a billion year old turd. Hell yeah, and it gives society research. Nice. For some reason, construction. As, as one would expect, a turd would. Good old turd research. Please. <laughs> Destroyers have been researched. Nice. Shit, I designed some earlier. I should really build a couple. Yeah, I'm building a couple right now. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, yeah, boy. You. Ah uh, yes, I've started producing food for whatever reason. Can I sell that on the market? <laughs> hey, I can. I can sell food on the market. Hell yeah. Since I literally don't need it. <laughs> Straight Special making that money. Must have the Rubricator. Adjusted. Oh really? You got the Rubricator quest too? Yeah. Oh, you have that? Yeah. Where's the pointing you at? Uh, I don't know. Is it pinging on my side of the galaxy? Is that what that big flashing orange thing is? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm about to. I'm gonna get that Rubicator, man. Oh, uh, right that's like. Yeah, I was about to say that's like already in your territory. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's gonna take a while, but kinda. <laughs> oh, or the site's been fully excavated. Uh, what happened to that? You reading about it? Yeah. Did you get anything good? Sometimes they lead into chains where you have to excavate multiple sites. Uh, I'm going to get Unity of Purpose plus 10% and that research option. Uh, but basically, here's what happened on this planet. Uh, the, the core of the planet dropped suddenly, which made the population go underground to find heat and energy and such. And then as the decades went by, they had to go d deeper and deeper until the planet's core eventually basically just burned out. And uh, they uh, just all died as they tried to e get ever closer to the planet's core. Oh, wow, that's horrible. Yeah, it's a that's actually how the, <laughs> the story starts. Like, the expedition has returned with a sad tale to tell. Though, I mean, if these were organics, then, then g fucking good. That was a neat little story. Pretty close to getting telepathy. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Psychic criminals. The best. Soon. I want this Ruba thingy. God damn it. The Rubitator. <laughs> System survey complete. Potatoes. 
Oh How strong God. is your strongest fleet, dude? Uh, let's see, can I, I can't merge these, can I? Um, no, it's 1.1k. Okay. Oh, why? What's yours? It's 1.4k. Okay. I have three destroyers and 18 corvettes. Hopefully, once I finish researching plasteel armor and UV lasers, I'll be stronger. Oh yeah, I should sell a bunch of food. Hell, hell. Which is also funny, because that means I'm selling food to some kind of organic life. <laughs> Presumably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I poisoned all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like to believe. Well, I found a crashed ship that, and then the captain's log just describes the captain being frustrated because he's, quote, surrounded by idiots. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Those artists that I'm supporting just informed me that they created a new technology that transmits smell. <laughs> Soon we will begin construction on the fart ray. Hell yeah. <laughs> just winning battles by <laughs> just really grossing people out. <laughs> Oh god, he's 92. That's not <laughs> a good sign. He's probably gonna die soon. How do you check that? Oh, it doesn't matter to you, dude. I know, I just want to see how old my guys are. <laughs> you just mouse over their portrait. <clears throat> oh, you find them their leaders. Alright. So, my oldest guy is... 54. But he was immortal, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That is really OP, dude. As the game goes on, he's just going to continue to rack up skills. What I've been doing is putting a lot of points into Machine Learning Campaign Edict, which increases leader experience by 25% for a while. Yeah. Since my guys don't die, then... Construction complete. It's a solid learn. investment. They aren't going to lose that experience. Shit, man. This guy really needs to finish this excavation before he dies, otherwise I'm going to rage quit. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I probably will be upset though. Oh yeah, ascension perk. Telepathy. My next phase of I need five months till my next phase of war can begin. With UV lasers and plasteel armor. Nice. And then I'm gonna try to steal some more shit from these filthy purples. You purple scat. 67 more influence till I can build a outpost on that Ruba Ruba Duba construction complete. Rubicator, that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, that Ruba Duba. Yes, the Ruba Duba. <laughs> Fire the Ruba Duba. Hey, I found a tropical world. Jesus Christ, the only good planet in the entire, like, this quarter of the galaxy. Oh, I can finally harvest moats. But maybe I should get shields. Well, things are going good for me. I really wish that we had started closer. Yeah, I'm slowly stretching towards your side of the galaxy. complete. You know, all we gotta do is just... You don't have to colonize, necessarily, but... You're probably gonna run into the, uh, Panaxalan concern before you run into me. Uh, probably. There's also two empires between me and your side, anyway. Well, what are they called? Uh, there's the Confederated Giridoi, Giroid Holdings and Nation of Kiris. Hmm. Jeez, I haven't met either one of those. <clears throat> uh, the Nation of Kiris is, like, literally directly north of the System middle of the complete. entire galaxy. Oh, okay. Should probably meet them soon. Oh, so I'm probably a dimensional portal I found. That should be done in 12 months. What about the portal? Oh, I'm probing it. Should be done in 12 months. Nice. Probe that shit. Man, whatever happened to my fucking portal to the world of suffering or whatever? <laughs> they didn't have crime in the plane of suffering, so now they do. Everyone wins out of that little exchange. They get crime, you get, what is it, like, some maddening, uh, like, insanity thing anytime they touch something. Seems like a fair trade. Yeah, right? The nation of Kyrus is getting into all sorts of diplomatic shit right now. Really? 
It's making non-aggression packs and other stuff left and right. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure these four empires are about to just come fuck me because it's very clear that I'm an evil robot race. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I hope not. But I'm kind of surrounded. <laughs> oh man, I just noticed the little symbol for the corporate um, civic is the Wayland Yutani. Basically, the Wayland Yutani <laughs> uh, like, icon. Nice. Flipped upside down and changed a little bit. I don't have the, I haven't met those guys yet. Special project. What, Wayland Yutani? No, the, well, yeah, there, I'm sure I haven't met Wayland Yutani in here. No, the. What was the empire you were just talking about? Oh, no, it's just the, um, for all corporate, uh, corporate nations. The little civic government type icon is the Wayland Yutani. It's just a little Easter egg. Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, I gotta go, though, dude. All right. Well, that was <clears throat> fun. So we'll go yeah. ahead and save it, and then we'll pick it up some other time. Yeah. I'll catch you later, dude.